All right, we've got a bit of a special tool. I've used this one before in a video and it did really well. This is called a, a uh, cornice head applicator. And it goes onto the compound tube. It's made by Tapro and it's meant for um, putting continuous bead for cornices. There's a few different sizes. Just, you fill it up, you snap that on and you get this. I've only used this a couple of times, so it's full. And then you go like, and you push at the same time, and it just sits perfectly in that corner and leaves it a perfect bead. If you come around over here, it has these two slots, so it's going to leave bead marks right there. You should be able to go right over that, and right through, right around. And by using this, it helps, you're not playing with the mud as well, you get it up quicker, so it's going to prolong the life of the drying time of it, so you can get as many meters up as you can. So we've cut all the corners here, we've laid them out approximately where they're all going. Here's a new mixer from Warboard Tools. Now this is specially designed, it's been compared against, this paddle has been compared against other paddles and it is very efficient apparently so we're going to be trying that and it fits a Makita battery and I think there's adapters I might be wrong but you can fit other batteries on the wood as well we've got our water mixed up so one bucket is for sponging one bucket is for mixing the mud and this is for cleaning the, the mixer and when we mix up we're using 45 minute corners adhesive and here we go now we're using a compound tube with our cornice head applicator. So it's going to be a little bit more wet than I'm used to. So we've got a lot to do. Hopefully I can pull all of this off without a hitch. That's how I mix up. I kind of mix gradually because I don't like it to go dry. So I just go like that and give it a shake. It feels really good. I'm not sure how much water this needs. It looks like we're a bit. Does mix really fast. Really good. I like that it was smooth around the outsides of the the beater of the paddle. It's not going to rip up my bucket. Some of them can be quite sharp. There we go. It's starting to look nice. I don't want it too thick because we're going to be able to pump it. That's nice. Very smooth on the hands. Um, you know that's that's good. I think that's good. You do want to be careful when you clean these, but you want to handle and get your fingers cool. That wouldn't be good. And I don't want to dirty this up.
Another good feature. It stands up by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Another good feature is it stands up by itself. <laughs> All right. Enough games. Enough playing around. This board here is our snot board. Pull our snot board. We're gonna be. Yeah, I should have just mixed up on that. Okay. Now. Put this in. I like to push out a little bit. Try to get some air out of it. Starting boss. Start here. It is hard to push. I forgot my technique. If it goes that way. Yeah, that's it, that's it. That's how you do it. So far, so good. There's a uh, there's a sweet spot between you know tacky compound, so it doesn't fall off the wall, and how much you can push and pull. Obviously, the thicker it is, the harder it is to push. But I don't mind too much. Yeah. 